Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Mike Quaza. It's January 20th, 2023, and that means it's Crown Zenith release day. Today we're going to be unboxing the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box, which contains 10 Pokemon TCG booster packs. A little bit of different price and different booster pack ratio this time around. I'm really excited to see what's under the hood of this bad boy, so without further ado, let's sit back, relax, and crack some packs. And before we crack this bad boy apart, let's take a quick moment to look at the packaging real quick. I love how it, they kind of, in a sneaky way, included the colors red and blue here. It really reminds me a lot of none other than the original games, Pokemon Red and Blue. So I think it's really clever. I think, I don't know if that's exactly what they were trying to do, but it worked out really well. And this being a Crown Zenith, if you'll notice, the packaging does not say Sword and Shield. This is a one-off series, kind of like Hidden Fates or Shining Fates. And what I love about these here is that they aren't related to the typical Sword and Shield era cards that are being released in the sets right now. So I feel like they have a bit more of a liberty to, quite frankly, do whatever they want. So I'm not sure exactly what all to expect. I try not to watch too many of the leaks and the spoilers. I know some of these are derived from the V-Star Universe set that came out in Japan. We've got a booster box of it back there. We'll probably open sometime soon. But I'm really excited to see exactly what all's going on in Crown Zenith this time. And you'll notice that this box is the standard Crown Zenith Elite Trainer box. It is not the Pokemon Center edition. However, it still comes with 10 booster packs as well as all the other typical stuff with it shown here. And the difference is that they did change the price on these. This Elite Trainer Box retails at places like Walmart and Target for $54.99. However, if you can go by a local card shop or a game dealer, they typically have them at least 5 bucks less, around $49.99, possibly even more if you find a sale or a deal. So I definitely recommend trying to buy local. And I also enjoy how they put a, a like a black-on-black, -black, kind of a diamond design with a, kind of a crown for Crown Zenith, of course. It's really cool how they have that repeating pattern in the background. I don't recognize that from any of the games or anything else, so it doesn't seem to be derivative of anything else. Again, I like the originality. All right, packaging, overview aside, let's tear into this bad boy and see how lucky we are today, guys. All right. Now, I know on our last video, we did the Paldia collection boxes, and my third Sprigatito box was four for four hits, so I had some good luck. And my luck seems to come and go about every other video, so I'm not too optimistic, to be honest. However, people are really excited about what they've been getting pull-wise from Crown Zenith. So there's just no telling. Well, let's find out. Alright, this seems to be typical so far. We've got the sleeve. This is nice, nothing too fancy on the inside, just that diamond Crown Zenith original pattern. We'll set that bad boy aside. And here we have the box. It looks like it's just the red on this side. Oh, and we got the blue on the other side. Love it. I see what you did there, TPCI. I see what you did there. All right, let's open it up. And this is pretty standard. We have a little divider holding everything apart. Looks like our booster packs are over here. Look, goodies in the middle. Energy packs and deck sleeves over here. What I like to do is just whoop, jumble it all up. Let's take this nice little cardboard aside. Again, showing that Crown Zenith diamond design all over. Really going all hard with that. All right, and here we have them. The most exciting thing, of course, these Crown Zenith booster packs. These are the first ones I've had. So I am so excited. We're gonna set these right there on the lid for now. We'll quickly go through everything else. We've got the V-Star marker, the damage counters. We've got the dice, the die in the middle. Very cool. Kind of a, almost a mustard color. I'm sure they're going for gold, but definitely kind of a, do you have any great coupons, huh? <laughs> All right, we'll set that aside. We've got the sleeves. That side's nice. I love that gold. That's really nice too. They do have a solid black border on the edges like they've been doing traditionally lately. I like that Lucario is in kind of a, almost a metallic gold with the red and blue stripes behind it with the Crown Zenith diamond pattern. But man, look at that gold with no cards in it. That's just pretty. I'm a sucker for gold. All right, set that aside. Next up, we have the code card. If you get anything good, let me know. 
And here is our Lucario V Star. This is our Black Star promo Swish 291. Still very nice. Looking pretty centered. Looking pretty nice. I hear the print quality is a lot better on this series, so I'm optimistic there too. We'll set our promo aside right over there for now. And then we've got the pack of energy cards. Go to the kids. And the dividers. Four dividers per usual. Oh, blue on one side, red on the other. Fancy like. Loving it. All right, so we're going to throw everything back in the box real quick. But the booster packs. We're going to take a quick look at the player's guide. This is what I really enjoy about getting the ETBs. Actually having a full list of all of the cards in this series and being able to check them out at least at a glance in the book is really nice. There's the index, table of contents. Really briefly go through it kind of explains things like radiant pokemon combos and here in the back we have the crown zenith card list man look at those charizard boom 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 just right off the first page multiple charizards and crown zenith we've got some v's some v stars right there we've got some eons we've got kyogre v look at fierce all right we've got a rotom v and v star that's pretty cool Zorora, some Psychic, and we won't go through every single page, but I really enjoy seeing all the artwork. Let's get to the good stuff, though. Boom. Boom. Look at that Pika. Pika V! Alright, next. We got the Lapras, and some of these I've definitely seen from V-Star Universe, like the Ditto, the New Mill Ditto, things like that. But I don't think all of these are from the series. Most of these, yes. These are all definitely V-Star Universe. Alright, and finally the last page. We got the bad boys. The origin forms the top four. We'll call those the elite four. Alright. Player's guide aside. That leaves us with nothing but ten booster packs of awesomeness. Let's see how we do, guys. Alright, pack one. Having some fun. I'll pop these out. And congratulations to our recent giveaway winners. As always, if you want to drop a comment down below, maybe your favorite card or some ideas for what you'd like to see open next, I'll enter you to win a giveaway. Full details in description. And there's the first code. We got four to the ground. We flip it around. And let's go. Giraffe Rig, Pinkerton, Great Ball, Galarian Mr. Mime, Chateau, Cricketot, Ponyard, we've got a Yanma, Reverse Hollow Sunkern, and Heliolisk. All right, nothing fancy there. Pack two, let's see what we got going on. Even though we haven't gotten anything interesting yet, it is always interesting to see the new artwork of all of the cards, fancy ones and not. I absolutely love some of the artwork on these cards. So fun. We've got Luxio. Trekking Shoes, Shaman, Baltoy, Tangela, Larvesta, Snowrunt. We've got a Switch. Wow. And we've got a Lost Vacuum Reverse Hollow Foil, followed by an Enamorous. Wow. Very interesting to see some cards like that. An Enamorous not in a V form. Very cool. Crown Zenith, number three. Not having any great luck yet, guys. Not having any great luck yet. But we've got 10 packs, and we're only two in. So, still got plenty of chances. There's still a chance. Another code card. Four to the ground. Flip them around. All right. Fire! Rescue Carrier. We've got an Electric. Digging Duo. Purloin. Salandit. Coughing. Bidoof. Sunkern, Reverse Hollow Volcanion, and Bellossum. Alright. Pack four, give me some more. This one's got a little smoosh. I don't know what it is, but the ones that have imperfect packaging typically are lucky for me, but I don't know if I'm really a lucky person or not. Let's see how we do. Alright, pack four, code four. Four to the ground, flip them around. Oop. A little technical difficulties. Sorry about that, guys. 
All right, we have a Psychic Energy, followed by a Lunatone. Maybe that's a good sign. And a Soul Rock. That's neat. We've got a Rare Candy, Pawniard, Corphish, Shinx, Whalemur, Galarian Meowth, Reverse Hollow, Pokemon Catcher, and Lycanroc. Man, four down, nothing special. Let's do number five. Come on, keep us alive, number five. All right. Code five. Four to the ground. Flip them around. All right. Crockle Rock. Luna Tone again. Soul Rock again. Those must be a pair of Lofton. Aron. Rock Ruff. Seal. Ponyard. Corfish. Oh, we've got a Hetterene V Max. There we go. I was not expecting that. This is HP 320. It's a Galarian Gallery card. GG 47 of 70, it looks like. Gigantamax. There we go, guys. It's got Witch's Domain and G Max Smite. Wow, your opponent's extra Pokemon is now confused. Three energy, 150, and confusion. That's a beast attack. Wow. Okay, had a rain and a Yan Mega to hang out with him. Well, there we go. We got our very first hit for Crown Zenith. Woo! -hoo! At least it's something. At least it's something. Took us half an ETB to get there, but that's all right. That's all right. Next one. All right. <sighs> At least we got something good today, guys. At least we got something good. My uh, Silver Tempest ETB was not that good to me, so I'm kind of skeptical of ETBs already. This next co code card. Four to the ground. Flip them around. And let's see if we can hit twice in a row. Crushing Hammer. Luxio. Rescue Carrier again. Another Sun Kern. Another Galarian Mr. Mime. Another Chateau. Cricketot. Pawnee Yard. Reverse Hollow Luxio. And we've got a Biddy. All right. For the Hollow 124, 159. Not bad. Something different. Let's see what's next. Looks like we have about four packs left. Four more chances for goodness. I would love to get one of the Elite Four. That would be so cool. Four to the ground. Flip them all around. All right. We've got the Rare Candy again. Dustclops. Energy Switch. Young Goose. Pokeball. Scyther. Starly. Riolu. Reverse Hollow Entei. Not bad. And a Scizor. Bad. <laughs> All right, looks like we've got three CZs left. Come on, let's try to get one more hit at least. I mean, two would be great, but I'd love it just for one. Maybe something for trade night. <laughs> All right. And then it's the next code. Four to the ground, flip it around. We got a V-Star marker this time. We've got Friends in Sinnoh, loving the artwork there. Gloom, <laughs> also loving the artwork. <laughs> Ultra Ball, Griven, Purloin again, Salandit, Coughing, Badoof. And we've got a Magmortar, another, Gal 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 another Galarian Gallery, guys. Woo -woo! This is HP 140 card GG3 of 70. Well, how about that, guys? Another Galarian Gallery. I may just have to collect the Galarian Gallery series. And oh, look at this Norlex. He's so cute and knitted. Oh, man, that is awesome. I love the Magmortar artwork featuring Electivire. Very awesome. <sighs> super cool. Super cool, guys. Super cool. Super cool. Two more chances at greatness. Let's see what we got. We got some really good stuff. I'd love some more. Speaking of love, we got a love disc. That's a sign. It's probably not a sign. Four to the ground. Flip them around. All right, we got Darkness, Graveler, and it, Pokemon Catcher, Salazzle, the Love Disc, Emolga, Energy Retrieval, Execute, Cuties, Cherubi, we've got a Reverse Hollow, Friends in Hisu, and Lycanroc. Alrighty, we'll swap those out right there, that's 9 out of 10, and the last one, Ooh, let's get some luck, let's get something good, guys. 
gentlemen as always thank you so much for joining me in my pokemon journey i recently started collecting again and i really appreciate everybody that tags along on my videos i really it's a lot of fun four to the ground flip it around and we do have a couple more videos worth of Crown Zenith coming up, so make sure to stay tuned. We've got both the Regilecki and Drago boxes up here. We're going to be opening this weekend, too. All right, last pack magic. Let's see what we got, guys. Carnivine, Lost Vacuum, Laron, Panchem, Shinx, Vulu, Helioptile, a Skrelp, Reverse Hollow Carnivine, and an Executor. All right, there you have it. Nothing special, no last pass pack magic this time. However, we did get a couple really good Galarian Gallery cards. Can't wait to hang on to those or maybe take them to trade night this Friday. As always, thanks again for tuning in, and let's take these babies for a twirl.